Welcome back to Satisfactory. Now, this probably isn't exactly what you expected to see in the beginning of the video, but uh, I thought that I'd show you guys the uh, extent of how much I've actually built on this map. So, as you can see here, I've built uh, a mere 15,979 foundations, 54 walls. I've also built some uh, walkways, 1,645 of them to be exact. I have 73 miners and oil wells or extraction buildings. I have 631 production buildings, 96 storage buildings, 86.85 kilometers of belts, 8.11 kilometers of pipes. The power grid, I have 36.89 kilometers of power lines, two biomass burners, those are the ones in the hub. I have 32 coal generators, I have 20 fuel generators, and I have three geothermal generators. I also have 2.58 kilometers of tracks. I'm entirely sure what that is. I think it's the train tracks, because I've built some uh, train tracks. And I also have three trains. That is one train with two wagons. I have 4.73 kilometers of hypertubes. Now this thing is a bit laggy because <laughs> it's a lot to show. So we can begin when it uh, decides to uh, behave. We can begin up here. This is the original starting area with the two iron mines that I uh, have. Uh, those were the first two I built, and that was the first copper mine that I built. And here we have the um, smelters for the iron. We have the caterium uh, iron constructors behind there. We have the iron plate construction area. We have some iron rod construction areas. We have iron screws, both here and here. We have concrete here that comes from this uh, limestone. We have concrete here that comes from this limestone. This part here is the um, exchange area that sends it off onto the main bus that goes down there. Here we're producing uh, reinforced iron plates and uh, rotors over here we are producing modular frames here we're producing more concrete from this limestone node and that goes into producing encased industrial beams here down here we are uh, smelting iron ore into iron ingots that we are then smelting into steel ingots using the alternate recipe of the solid steel ingots which we then produce steel pipes in excess of and i'm using a lot of it and over here, we have two constructors making steel beams and ten making iron rods with the alternate recipe steel rods. Down here, we have smelters that are smelting caterium ingots. And those get their uh, caterium from this node over here. Then out here, we have three iron mines, uh, I think. One of them is currently not in use. Yes, this one is not in use currently. So these two send iron ore up to the smelting array together with the iron ore that we get from... Not there, that's copper ore. From there, that is iron ore. Out here we have our four coal uh, miners that are on normal patches. Here we have another coal node. These are caterium ore smelters that uh, make caterium ingots for us. And those are attached to this caterium node here, which is also pure one. We have two sulfur miners here. They are both overclocked, as you can see. And here we have a geothermal generator. The belts are coming along here. Now... Down here we have two more geothermal generators. Then we have the steel and the quartz outpost here, where we have a copper node, and uh, mostly we're just producing things here. 
This is a bit confusing because we can't see the buildings underneath, but we have the steel buildings in the uh, bottom level, the quartz building in the top level, as you know. Then we go through this uh, cave here, where we uh, grab quartz from this, I believe, is... I think one of them is pure and one of them producing 240 per minute producing 360 per minute yeah maybe both of them are actually pure then then we have the uh, old area where we have the uh, mega base above the trees where we have four coal nodes those are sending stuff back via the belts here and in through the cave together with the quartz and then down to the steel smelting here this cave I haven't bothered going into, but here is the walkway that I use to get up to the uh, bauxite node over here. And also to the bauxite node over here that I'm currently not using. And what we're looking at now is the uh, refinery. Here we have uh, the aluminium smelting arrays that... Uh, rather the aluminium array. And I have to pause the recording briefly because my headset battery just decided to die. There we go. So this aluminium chain here ends up with the Alclad aluminium sheets. And uh, here we have our uh, steamed copper sheets refineries, that line there. And behind here we have heavy oil uh, pr residue production and we have uh, packaged water and then we have the refineries that make the uh, diluted packaged fuel from those two behind here and the fuel and packaging which then goes to the uh, rubber uh, refineries that make recycled rubber and also the plastic refineries that make recycled plastic and those two as you know they go uh, they, they chain into one another before they go on to the uh, the bus that takes them back up to the base. These are water extractors. They look quite nice on the map, actually. Behind here, we have the additional rubber refineries and the uh, heavy oil residue refineries that then make petroleum coke, which we send into the... Um... I'm not sure where they are. Wait, these are the ones that make petroleum coke, that, 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 uh, and that's sent into the um, grinder, which is here, but it's not on the map, interestingly enough. Here we have our quick wire makers, that we uh, smelt caterium out here, which we grab from that node. And of course, uh, down here we have a copper smelting array from that node. And there are also three pure iron nodes here, should I need more iron, but I don't think I will need more iron. Out here we have our generators. So the generators are here. And these are the um, refineries that make the uh, fuel needed for those generators. And of course we have our four crude oil extractors out here. Two of which are pure, and two of which are normal. So this is uh, pretty extensive. This is the main base. This is where we have the uh, the main mall A here. And we also have the mall B here. As you can see, there are extensive belting going on out from there up here or down there and also there is the same extensive belting going on there this is the upper platform of the base here we are producing uh, compacted coal we're producing black powder using the alternate recipe we are producing uh, beacons cartridges nobelisks um, ai limiters and we're also making more quick wire here this is the train station. I'll show you that in the episode. Um, out here we have the uh, copper smelting outpost with uh, regular copper sheet manufacturers or constructors. We have 
wire constructors in two rows and some cable constructors here and some cable constructors here. There's a mine over there. That's an industrial storage container that I send off to that um, awesome sink that I have over there. There are more iron mines here. Oh, these are copper mines. Then we have iron mines here. This is this is the original coal generator array with uh, an, uh, non, a non-overclocked water extraction facility down there. Here we have one iron ore uh, miner and two more there. This is the uh, smeltery for the main base. This is where we make some screws. Over here we make iron plates. Here we make stators and rotors. Here we are making reinforced iron plates. Here we are making modular frames. This one is making heavy modular frames. Uh, these two are making motors. Uh, these ten are making circuit boards. These three are making heat sinks. And then we have the uh, Caterium computers being made here. These six here are making crystal oscillators, whereas these four are making high-speed connectors. And then we have this one, which is making supercomputers, and these two that are making radio control units. And finally, we come to the one that I haven't connected up yet, which is the turbo motors. So, I've built a lot in this. Of course, you already know that because you've followed the series, but I thought it might be fun for you to actually see the, uh, the map of everything. But, uh, this is also where I do planning and uh, stuff like that, so... Anyways, let's uh, jump into the actual game. So, currently we are at the uh, manufacturer that is going to make turbo motors. So, let's connect up everything that needs to be connected up here. Uh, logistics, conveyor lift. Eh. That one. That one. That one. And finally this one. So here we have uh, all of the uh, four items that are necessary to come in. Heat sinks. We have radio control units. We have um, rubber. And we have motors. This one should soon begin making turbo motors. As soon as it's getting enough it gets enough rubber can just uh, put this one in this is the final part that we can make uh, that is not related to nuclear power let's wait for that to actually make the, uh, the turbo motor and then we can follow it back to the uh, mall underneath the base gonna be very slow though so I don't think I will follow it all the way but I will just see there we have first turbo motor which means that when we have enough of those we can actually make mark three miners not that I really need them but uh, it's nice to know that we uh, can make them this is the middle belt I just want to make sure that it's connected up so it will be the topmost belt here let's just follow it Pretty sure it's connected up. I had forgotten to uh, connect up two of the uh, assemblers making heat sinks to the um, belt, so I remedied that. Let's get out here. Yep, it is connected up, so we should be all good. Seriously. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Okay, now I have built a train line. That has taken some time. I'm not using it for anything. And currently I don't see the need for it, except for the fact that it was fun. 
And that's something that I will give this. Driving the trains definitely is fun. So you can see how I've built ramps here. And the idea for this uh, elevated ramp system that I have with... Uh, no, not ramps, but... Um, well, that was ramps. Foundations. The idea I got from um, the series The Man in the High Castle, actually, with having a monorail on top of a concrete... Uh, thing because it looked really cool in that series I've already set it up so that the train can loop when I'm driving it in manual mode it's a bit laggy it takes us through the poison there very briefly but I'll give this to the trains they are fun and they look absolutely awesome As for the uh, series, I think we're nearing the end. I don't have much left to do here with the current content. I guess I could go build nuclear stuff, but... Uh, you know, <coughs> we have enough power as is, so I don't know why I would need nuclear. So... <laughs> I don't know if I should continue just playing with things or go back to recording other games. Uh, there was a new Stellaris expansion, which is the, the largest one in a long while, Federations, that was launched um, two days ago. And there's also a couple of other games that I would like to... Uh, Revisit, and of course we have the uh, the games that I want to finish, like uh, Pathfinder Kingmaker. But Satisfactory has been uh, quite uh, popular on the channel, so I'm not going to make any decisions. Uh, I'm going to let you guys uh, give me some feedback on uh, what would you like me to do next if you want me to continue the series because oh well, I, I basically have made everything i with connecting up the turbo motors i have everything that can be manufactured in the game which has some kind of use is now being produced and i really don't need nuclear because i can always just expand the uh, fuel generators since i have plenty of uh, of crude oil. Now, uh, I should have, pardon the uh, mouse cursor moving randomly around there. Why didn't you remember what I had open itself? No, oh, okay, let's see here. The mouse cursor should be going around completely uh, Funkily now. So a rundown of what we're actually producing. In base A, we are producing uh, 102 iron, iron rods, 200, uh, 120 iron rods, of which we're using 102. We are producing 320 iron plates, of which we're using 232.5. We are producing 800 screws, but the belts have not been upgraded, so we're using 510, which is the maximum... Don't even know if we're... Um, we might be in a de deficit there. Uh, we're also producing 600 screws for the um, mall in base A, of which 180 is being used. We are producing a total of 210 concrete, two, uh, 210, and 60 of that is being used. We're producing 30 steel beams. We're producing 320 steel pipes. 254 of those are in use. Steel ingots, we are producing 720. Every single one is in use. Reinforced iron plates, producing 20. 12 is in use. Using 10.8 rotors, which I'm not using any of, and uh, also 8 modular frames, which are also not in use. So those are just for um, the mall. 
could probably have set up more uh, heavy modular frames using those modular frames because I rarely use modular frames for anything but anyways we continue on encased industrial beams we are making 12 of those using 10 in the copper outpost we are making 960 wire and we're using 6 uh, 712.5 that copper sheets we're making 120 uh, in that specific outpost 100 of them are being used cable producing 240 using 99 then we have the steel quartz outpost where we are producing 30 steel beams that are not in use 240 steel pipes that are not in use 550 silica 420 of that is in use but that's just one of the silica chains we have another one which is producing 550 more so we're producing 1100 and no, 1100 silica and the other one is using 370 so that means 790 silica is in use we're also producing 117 quartz crystal of which 108 is being used then we have the refinery where we are producing a total of 900 crude oil we're also producing 780 quick wire there 760 of that is in use but uh, the same goes for the uh, main base actually we are also producing uh, 780 quick wire there but 465 of that is in use then we have the steel rods which we are producing 480 of 75 of those are in use then for the uh, fuel generators uh, out there we are manufacturing uh, 150 or refining 150 heavy oil residue we're packaging 300 water uh, and then we're packaging 300 fuel with a diluted packaged fuel recipe and then unpackaging that and sending that 300 fuel into the 20 fuel generators in the aluminium production segment we are producing 40 heavy oil residue which we are converting to 120 petroleum coke whereas the polymer resin byproduct is being sent off into a grinder then we are manufacturing or refining 480 alumina solution which then is transformed into 720 aluminum aluminum aluminium aluminium scrap that is being melted together with silica into 240 aluminium ingots which is then transformed magically by four assemblers into 120 alclad aluminium sheets in the other segment we are using seven refineries i haven't really bothered mentioning how many so i'll just skip that we're producing 280 heavy oil residue with 140 polymer resin uh, as a byproduct that is being sent off to a grinder we are packaging a mere 540 water here and that heavy oil residue and packaged water is then being transformed into 540 diluted packaged fuel which is unpackaged and then sent off into both the recycled rubber and recycled plastic now the recycled rubber we're producing 600 and we're using 600 recycled plastic we're producing 480 and we're using 352.5 of those steamed copper sheets we are producing 240 of those and using 220 of that and then we also have uh, the uh, basic rubber uh, refineries that are producing another 120 uh, which is then being transformed the byproduct is being transformed into uh, petroleum coke which is then grinded and we are actually uh, using too much of the rubber that is we're producing 720 but we are requiring 740 the reason why I'm not bothered by that overproduction is because 30 of those rubber goes to cartridges and it's not that often that I go collect cartridges anyways. Finally we get to the main base itself. In the main base we are producing 600 screws of which 380 are in use. 
We are making 160 iron plates, of which 90 are being used. We have set up the uh, 780 quick wire production there. I'm not using any of that because I miscalculated, but hey, extra quick wire. That means I, if I want to expand, I can. Uh, I have 780 quick wire in reserve. We are making stators. This is one of the uh, recipes that we are using quick wire for because we're using the quick wire stator recipe. 20 is produced and 20 is being used. The same goes for the rotors. We're using the steel rotor recipe, which means that we uh, use steel pipe on both the quick wire stators and the steel rotors. So we're making 20 and we're using 20. We also are producing reinforced iron plates. 30 of those, all in use. Modular frames, 10. And using 10. Compacted coal, we're producing 200 of that, but using only 60 of it, which means we have an ample supply of fuel for our vehicles in that. Fine black powder, we are producing 60 of that, using 45. AI limiters, we are producing 20, and this number is definitely wrong. It says 3.75 are in use, but I believe... No, it isn't wrong. We are using 3.75 AI limiters. Then, Nobelisks, we are making three of them. All of these numbers and values are per minute, by the way. And... Uh... Then we get to the uh, final recipe from that tier, which is the motors that we are producing 10 out of, and we're using 7.5 of those. Then for the more advanced products, we are producing silicone circuit boards, making 100 of them. We are using 78.75. And heat sinks, that is an end game recipe we are making 30 of them uh, and we're using 27.5 heavy module frames we are making two per minute using none for anything crystal oscillators we are producing six per minute using five of those beacons 7.5 are being produced three are in use cartridges making 15 per minute but we rarely use those anyways. High-speed connectors. We are making 12 per minute. And we're using 5.625 per minute of those. Ethereum computers. We are manufacturing 11.4 and using 8.75. Radio control units. We are producing 5. And we are using 3.75 of those. And then the two final recipes, supercomputers, one per minute, and turbo motors, 1.9 per minute. And that is a total and complete rundown of all of the production that I have in the base, uh, except for the smelting arrays, because I didn't bother with those, except one of them, I think. So yeah, this base has been quite the adventure to make. I've spent many hours being idle, waiting for things, but currently, as you can see, I have 313 hours and 51 minutes at the last autosave, so it's been extensive. Now, in this episode, I don't really have much more to do. I'm not sure this was the most uh, interesting episode as per se. But, of course, we're eagerly awaiting the next tier of uh, products, so that'll probably be a while until they release update 4. They have plenty to do now with uh, polishing this update, probably some rebalancing of the recipes is something that they're working on as well. But I think the balance is pretty good, personally. I mean, the uh, alternate recipes, they've, uh, they've changed them so that they are not necessarily always the best recipes some of them definitely are but often you get this trade-off of uh, getting less space um, 
as in less manufacturing plants, but at a cost of higher uh, resource usage. So some of the alternate recipes, I would say, isn't really viable until you have Mark IV belts. Because when you need 300 screws for one manufacturing chain, even a Mark III belt isn't enough. From there, that, that's, that's harsh. Others of the alternate recipes are definitely just something you must do. One of the alternate recipes, or rather two of them, that I highly encourage you to use are the recycled rubber, rubber and plastic ones, because those are, even though the mathematics behind them are annoyingly complicated, if you're not a mathematical person, I'm not. Um, when you get those working, you just get so much more plastic and rubber out of uh, so much less crude oil. However, it does require you to have the diluted packaged fuel to be truly efficient. So keep that in mind. Also, the uh, the recipes that we have out, um, like the uh, the steel smelting one that smelts uh, iron ingots instead of uh, just iron ore, is a definite must uh, for late game building. Um, cast screws or casted screws, as they are called in the game, they are very good, but the steel screws are better, provided you have the steel, of course. And then also the uh, the steel rods, that one is superior to uh, to making uh, iron rods out of iron ingots. Same goes with the steamed copper sheets. It is a superior recipe, so long as you bother building the pipe uh, work for that. But there again, that, that's a good example of... Um, actually, the, the steel recipes are good examples of how you you have to use more space, you have to use more power, but you get more products as a result. So it requires a bit of uh, maintenance on your end in terms of having to extend your power network and also expanding your base to uh, accommodate the uh, assemblers uh, of the specific tier, whether it is um, constructors, assemblers or manufacturers. Crystal Computers is another example of a recipe that I enjoyed for a long time until I got the Caterium Computer Recipe. The Caterium Computer Recipe is the best one, uh, provided you have the uh, Caterium wire required for it, but the Crystal Computers served us quite well in this space for a long time before I uh, converted it into the uh, Caterium Computer Recipe, so... There are trade-offs, and... Ah, I was heat sinks. wondering about that one. There are trade-offs. Some of the recipes, the base recipes, are perfectly okay. Um, you can never go wrong with the default recipes. That's one thing. It also makes the mathematics a bit less intimidating, because, like, if you, if you look at the... Uh, Crystal oscillators. This one is 2.5. Um, do I have any of these? That is not using an alternate recipe. Maybe these ones. Yeah, here you have 3 per minute, 12 per minute. The same with the, uh, the reinforced iron plates. S the reinforced iron plates, it's 30 and 60. A better recipe would be the stitched iron plate which would require, um, I think that's the best one. It would require a copper wire instead of, uh, of uh, screws. But as you can see, 18.75 and 37.5. So you have to plan that a bit more carefully when you set that up. And you also need copper. Um, of course, you can always just go with the... Um, I think that one is made in a constructor. But to avoid using copper, you could go with the iron wire. It's, uh, you get less parts per minute. Uh, but... You know, there is so much iron around that it is a better recipe, in my opinion. 
So that that is a, using iron wire. You can uh, manufacture quite a bit of uh, stitched iron plates uh, without needing to use copper. But I think that for now, unless you guys have suggestions for what you would like me to do, I will say that I feel pretty much done with this factory. So unless there are suggestions for what I should do that I find interesting and fun, I will say that this is the end of this series. I will make a few tutorials, a few ideas in mind there, but I need to write some scripts for that. But, uh, yeah. So with that, thank you all so very, very much for uh, following the series and for partaking in the fun together with me. And it might not be the last episode. I said, if someone has a fun suggestion, I might take it up because I'm still enjoying the game, but I am getting a wee bit tired of it. I mean, yeah, okay, so the save game says 300 and, uh, and uh, 14 hours, but I'm guessing that I've played the game actually around 200 of those hours. Uh, the rest have been idling. But it's a lot of hours in one game in, a, in a, the past weeks. Um... I'll say this, though. This is the first time in many, many, many years that a game has kept me interested. And if there were more things to do, I would happily continue. Uh, is why I'm saying that if you guys have suggestions, I will uh, take that up if I find them fun. But it's been a long time since a game has kept me busy for that many hours, with the exception of MMO games. So, way to go, Coffee Stain. You've made a great game, that's for sure. I'm really loving this game to bits. That said, thank you all again so very much for joining me. And I will see you all in potentially the next episode. If not, I will see you all in another episode in another of another game so until then